Hello there guys, welcome back to my channels and for today's video we're going to be creating a cool texture poster design. First let's start with a new Canva and for this one I'm going to be using 3000 pixels wide by 2400 height. Let's hit create. You guys can find any photo that you like but for this tutorial I want to use this photo. Let's try to center it as much as possible. Let's hit ok. Let's type the main photo here to keep everything organized since this is since this is going to be the most important one. Let's paint it red. Let's block it. We don't need nothing from the photo right now. Let's bring a new label and with control backspace we'll create a blank layer. Let's go to filter, filter gallery, and over here we want to use reticulation filter. As you can see, it's going to create this kind of noise the density you can choose whichever likes best for you but, but for my design i find that 25 density works fine the foreground level and the background level doesn't really work on this effect so it doesn't matter which one you choose here you can even leave it on zero hit ok on there let's go to opacity to about from 20 to 15 works really great and thus and this is this is what is gonna give us the main texture later on can go ahead zoom out a little and now let's try to find posterize i find five works fine for me on the posterize what it what this means is the more the higher the number the more colors you can add later on your design so i kind of want five colors on mine that's fine let's bring black and white here and here you can see it more clearly you have shades of black of pure pure black and pure white and then you have you're gonna have like a basic shade of white to black you can even on the black and white layer you can go here and try to edit whichever you like best but that's completely up to you here we can go ahead press here with the gradient maps and add a gradient map color then this one works best and now we can start playing around with the colors and everything else like i said before the reticulation layer is the one that is gonna bring all of the details tiny details on the design maybe around 13 for me works best you know what? let's change the entire vision of the design we can go ahead and do it like this open this one a little something like that let's bring a solid background in black Let's see how it looks like Look like a close-up just like the thumbnail i'm not feeling this color palette so let's go ahead and look for another colors and on the posterize i went ahead and change it to seven from five that's one uh let's paint this two articulation this one may be yellow and black and white i don't really like having the colors on the layers and from this one for this specific design we're not going to be using the mask we can go ahead and delete it same with the gradient map let's delete it there you go this one in green and maybe this one the main photo is right here and this is pretty much done but i kind of want this to be pure black let's see how we can work that out that looks perfect if you want to bring some sort of texture made in photoshop you can go ahead create a new layer new layer same control backspace create a white layer by itself go to the filter tab go to pixelate pointillize and about uh that looks great as you can see we create a lot of points but right now they're there they have different colors you can go ahead to image adjustments and desaturate let's go here and we can go ahead and start playing it's not it's not super super obvious but it gives the design a little bit of texture so texture go ahead block this one let's bring our next texture and i like this one because you have like half half tone the other half is like kind of paper ish and let's play around with it a little i'm not really feeling this right here so let's try to zoom in the photo a little bit and see if the whole composition is not lost that was fine to me let's put this one i don't think we're gonna use this one this is the reticulation as you can see the difference here it looks more like a gooder map kind of photo and now you added some textures and keep in mind in posture we're not gonna use we're not going to use the axe layer so we can go ahead and delete that one and keep in mind that on the gradient maps you can go ahead and create your own and also use whichever color you like it works with every single color but keep in mind that every single gradient map choice that you pick to you pick to choose you have to kind of play around in it but for this one i think this one looks great cancel here 
a few like more text so you can go ahead and press shift control alt letter e that's going to create a full photo of every single layer like a render let's go to filter tab noise add noise let's zoom in so we can see that what we are doing and we can add some sort of noise that's before and after before and after before and after it's not super obvious but it makes the design come to life a little and you can go to the camera roll filter if you are one of those persons that like post-production and give the poster use some little touches later you can even put some more crane in it but maybe just a tiny little bit like that like eight let's see it's before and after that looks fine to me i said okay i kind of want to duplicate this one we control j bring it here control i to invert it and let's try to play around with it and it looks this looks perfect maybe one another texture down here i'm gonna bring this one flip it horizontally like that bring it up control i so we invert it and multiply it here and i'm loving this tiny bit like that perfect let's bring another one similar to this one let's see how this one works enter control i to invert it bring this part to the side this one to the other side perfect and this is how you create a few textures within photoshop without using too much external assets and if this video was helpful for you please consider like and subscribe it'll help me a lot thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one